Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today we are talking about moving from Premiere into Resolve and when you should do it, when it's worth doing that, and when you should just stay in Premiere and do your, uh, do your color grading, do your uh, color correction inside of the Lumetri color panel there. That would be, uh, that'd be just nice. Here's my thoughts on the matter. Here I have a simple little action scene that we shot the other day, starring our good friend Maggie. It's a pretty simple scene. She's pretty much just going through cases of weapons and trying to find the right gun to shoot uh, whoever comes walking through the door. But let's say I'm happy with my edit and I want to do some color grading. Now I gotta make the choice. Do I want to take this out into Resolve? Do I wanna render this out with an EDL or do I wanna export it with an XML and round trip it through Resolve? Or do I just want to keep it in here and grade it with Lumetri? And I think the answer to that question depends on a couple different factors. The first thing I would think about is how similar are your grades going to be? This sequence is all shot in the same room. It all has basically the same lighting, very similar color tones. And so I can probably put a general grade on top of this and it will look pretty good with some minimal tweaking. Maybe I'll make an adjustment layer and put it on top of my footage and I can do my basic grade and everything will look pretty good under that adjustment layer. And every shot is maybe not perfect, but it's at least acceptable under this exact same grade. I'm not saying that you have to use Lumetri like this, but it's very easy to grade a whole sequence just using an adjustment layer in Premiere. Then for the extra couple shots that I think might be a little bit dark, I can go to the individual shots themselves and adjust them individually. So just considering the type of shots that we have, it might be okay to leave this in Premiere and grade it with Lumetri. If this were a more complicated sequence with different types of lighting or more scenes, I might consider just taking this whole thing into Resolve because I can probably get my looks faster and match the shots a little easier with the expanded tools that are inside of Resolve. Now here's the other major factor, and this is a big one for me. How detailed are you going to get with your color grade? For instance, it looks all right with this look applied, but what happens if I want to get more complicated? Let's say I wanna darken this side of the shot, or maybe make her gun more shiny, or add a little bit more sparkle in her eyes. That's something I could definitely do inside of Premiere, but it gets more complicated the more detail I want to put in. So I could select this shot and add a vignette to darken the edge over here, but it also darkens the edge over here, which is not really what I want. So I could add a new Lumetri effect and bring down the exposure, open up my Lumetri, open up Lumetri color in the effect controls and draw a Bezier curve and feather this out and start to get what I want. But every time I want to add a new effect, I have to add a instance of Lumetri color which works, but it's honestly a little bit clunky. And if I want to do any tracking on my masks, that just complicates things further. I can certainly duplicate this Lumetri color and reset it, and I can make things a little bit warmer, add my mask and track it, but it takes quite a while. Quite a while. And for one shot, this might not be that big of a deal, but if you're doing this on more than a couple shots, you're probably gonna run into the, uh, the point where it would be less time to actually round trip into Resolve because Resolve moves a lot faster when it comes to kind of detailed adjustments and masks and keys and things like that. So can you grade this whole sequence in Lumetri? Yeah, you probably could. However, if you wanna get detailed, I would certainly recommend moving into Resolve. So there's the two factors. What type of shots do you have and how different are they? And how detailed do you want to get? For simple grades on similar shots, definitely keep it in Premiere. For more complicated stuff, I would recommend moving into Resolve. That's how I think about things. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading and post-production tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name, once again, is Casey Ferris. I hope that you have a beneficial day and that your life is nice.